Now this looks like a work of art. Oh, and this isn't your average French toast. It's a stuffed French toast. I'll show you how to make it in just a minute. Today we'll try to earn the title sous chef by making this stuffed French toast. Let's start by grabbing a bowl. In the bowl, we're going to need one and a half cups of cream cheese, a quarter cup of sugar, one tablespoon of orange juice, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now let's use a spatula to mix everything up. And we have to mix this until it looks like batter. Give me a minute. Awesome! Let's move on to the next step. Now let's slice up some strawberries. Perfect! Alright, now let's put a little bit of the batter we made into a new bowl. Okay, now let's add the strawberries, give this a mix. Awesome! Our strawberry batter is ready! Now we need a brioche loaf. Give me a minute while I slice this up. Awesome! Now let's spread some of the strawberry batter on the bread. Now let's top it with another piece of bread. Now let's squeeze the edges to seal the filling. Perfect! Now let's make another filling. This time we'll add some blueberries. Okay, now let's mix this up. Awesome! Here's our blueberry filling. Let's spread some of the blueberry filling on another piece of bread. Put another brioche slice on top. Excellent! Let's make one more. This time we'll just use the original filling. Now let's add a piece of ham. some mozzarella cheese and let's put more filling on another piece of bread awesome this will be a savory french toast now let's make another batter we'll need to crack two eggs add a cup of milk half a cup of sugar one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of orange zest. Give me a second. Perfect! Now let's give this a mix. Here's our delicious batter. Now it's time to grill. Let's melt some butter on a pan. Now let's dip one of our sandwiches in the batter for a few seconds on each side. Now it's time to cook. We have to cook the sandwiches until they're golden brown. It'll take about two to three minutes per side. All right, let's flip this. Wait two to three minutes again. Okay, let's cook this a little longer and then it'll be ready.
awesome! Let's put this on a plate! Here's our first stuffed French toast. Let's make another one. Follow the same steps as before. Mmm, that's nice and golden. Alright, let's put the second one on a plate too. Okay, let's make one more. I went ahead and skipped the cooking part. Ooh, that looks great. This will be ready real soon. Okay, let's put this on the same plate. Now let's add some toppings. Add some strawberries. Some blueberries. Top it off with powdered sugar. Perfect! Let's slice these up. Here's the strawberry stuffed French toast. And here's the blueberry stuffed French toast. Now let's check out the savory one. Here's the ham and cheese. Which one did you like the best? Write it in the comments below. Alright, now that we're sous chefs, let's try to become a master chef. And in order to become a master chef, we have to be able to make this delicious item. Do you know what this is? If you said Eggs Benedict, you're correct. Alright, the first thing we have to do is get 5 egg yolks. Let me show you the best way to separate the yolk. Just move it back and forth like this until all the egg whites fall out. Perfect! Now let's put 5 egg yolks into this bowl. Now let's add 2 tablespoons of heavy cream and half a teaspoon of salt. Now let's mix it with the whisk. Now we have to pour in 3 fourths cup of melted butter while mixing. We can't just pour it all in though, it has to be a slow steady stream. Awesome! Now let's pour in one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice. Just like before, we have to pour in a slow steady stream while mixing. Now pour in 3 fourth cup of butter again. Awesome! We just made hollandaise sauce. Now let's move on to our next step. Let's crack an egg into this bowl. Instead of cracking an egg over boiling water, it'll be easier to pour in with this bowl. Our next step will be poaching an egg. And there's a very simple way to do it. Once the water is boiling, swirl the water around and then drop the egg in the center. And our poached egg should be ready in about 3 minutes. Pretty simple, right? Awesome! Here's our first poached egg. Now it's time to assemble our eggs benedict. Start by slicing this muffin in half. Okay, now let's add a couple pieces of ham to each muffin. Now let's add the poached eggs. Put some hollandaise sauce on top. Awesome! We're almost Master Chef worthy! We have to check the poached egg. If the yolk is runny, that means the Eggs Benedict is a success. Yes! It's perfect! We started off as a line cook and worked our way up to become a Master Chef. Awesome! We'll have more cooking videos in the future, so stay tuned. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. See ya!